Hey everybody, welcome to the bonus episode. Yeah, the bonus episode of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Finally recording this. In the bonus episode, I'm going to be showing you um, the extras and I'm going to be showing you alternative dialogue. So without further ado, um, let's go and look at the hits hits and tips because we want to know how to play the game apparently. Uh, hits and tips. Karate chop, belly bounce to the feet, the enemies. Yeah, of course. They're showing their flying Dutchman's graveyard for some reason. The reed blower, what? To push the gut balls. Oh my god. Look at that. It, it, it comes back again. And then you have to use a jellyfish net to catch jellyfish, of course. No crap. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, in case you don't Ready know... For everyone. Oh god, that, that, okay. <laughs> right, I did it for everyone. Uh, in case you guys don't know, that music was actually used, um was actually used in the PC Spongebob games. I mean, I noticed that no one noticed that because I know, I guess because I'm just such a music freak and, and stuff like that. All right, let's look at the still gallery. All right, so this is the early, this is what, you know, the early thing it was gonna look like before this game came out, you know, or they were still making the models. Hey, I remember that that SpongeBob sign, you know. And look, there's the pineapple in the early bedroom. I get well, actually, then again, I think that bedroom was in there. Oh my God, it's Patrick. It was in the show. It was a bedroom in the show. And well, Squidward, you have a long neck there. And Mr. Krabs, you just look like, uh, I don't even know what to say. And why is that Krusty Krab sign there, but no Krusty Krab? And I see Pearl. And then there's Larry, you know, and then the Krusty Krab. It looks a lot different. It looks like, I don't even know. And Joe a fish fields and then SpongeBob trying to get strong with two stuffed animals. Remember that crap? Remember that? And SpongeBob blowing bubbles. Yeah, blowing bubbles. And hey, look at that. All right, there's the early drawing of the crust of crab. There's Bikini Bottom, and Steven, yeah, I think, thanks to him, what a, gr what a great guy, you know, for making Spongebob. Alright, so, um, the other thing I want to mention right now, that in the PS2 version, it actually had the Spongebob theme. And also had a DVD collection as well. That did not make it into the GameCube for version for some reason. And I have no idea why I do. If you want to see those and stuff like that. For the Spongebob theme song. Then watch the show. For the DVD collection maybe you can find it somewhere. Or just play the, or just go look on the PlayStation 2 and stuff like that. But without further ado, now we are gonna finally uh, look at how. No, I'm kidding. We are going to look at. We are gonna go to new load game and let's load a bikini bottom. Yeah, I have two bikini bottoms because I tend to save. Um in between sessions all 
Alright, as you remember from the beginning of the Let's Play, um, I, I think, I hope I mentioned that there's an alternative dialogue for Squidward right here, you know. Um, Hello, SpongeBob. and let's just skip this dialogue. So, you know, instead of me winning, now I'm going to let Squidward win. Yo! You, you, you're racing Squidward. Stop talking to the unfitting narrator, you know? Alright. And yes, just like what I said in the beginning of the Let's Play, Squidward walks so slow. You know? I could... I could edit this video faster than then he could go to the Crust Crab, you know? Also, oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. Alright, so I'm just gonna go around the circles with Swartwork to annoy him because, you know, remember that spatula that you had to get just to annoy Squidward? Come on, Squidward. <sighs> You're wasting my time. Squidward, you know, I hate you so much now. Alright, now he's finally in. See, Mr. Krabs, I told you SpongeBob would show up eventually. I sure hope you're not mad about having to wait because then someone might not be picked as your employee of the month. I can explain. Really, there was this accident and an earthquake, and then this big whirlpool opened up above me. Oh, please, Mr. Krabs, you've got to pick me for employee of the month. All right, you two, stop your j- you All right. So, pretty much the rest of it- Pretty much the rest is pretty much the same. It all just changes, you know, Squidward and SpongeBob, you know, the reverse dialogue. You know, so pretty much that's all what changes is the dialogue between um, Squidward and SpongeBob. You know, they say different things. The rest is pretty much the same. So don't get mad that I skipped the dialogue, damn it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the karate match. Yes. I am actually, I don't know if this is going to uh, work or not, but I'm going to, uh, for the first time ever, I am actually going to see what will happen if you lose to that karate match uh, with Sandy. So, um, let's talk to Squidward, and I might actually have to do some cutting, because we already see some um, of the dialogue before. So let's talk to Squidward. Let's skip this dialogue. All right. So um, let's go sneak. Okay, Squidward. By the way, um, yes, you can do this before you go to uh Bikini Downtown. Just so you know. All right. So now let's steal Squidward's. Yo, steal Squidward's book. Really Yo! Come on, SpongeBob. You did not make a noise there. Oh, what? 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 Oh, what? What? Oh my god. Sandy! You just barged in. You know, I wonder why there are rocks that. Rocks, um at the um, entrance to Sandy's house. I mean, I don't understand, but then again, game logic. All right, I don't care what you have to say, Sandy. Let's go and fight you. All right. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm just gonna put the controller down and watch Sandy beat me. If, what are you doing, Sandy? What are you doing? Stop attacking me, yo! Oh, oh my god. 
Okay, I thought they attacked you, so I'm just gonna let Sandy win and see what happens. Because it's so impossible to beat, to lose San Andy when you actually don't even try at all and hit, you know, the crates, boxes, and uh, barrels. But now I'm just gonna, you know, watch Sandy beat me. Because, yeah, it, it, it's like, oh my god, who actually, who actually loses to Sandy? Well, apparently me, on purpose, just to see what will happen. You know, I hope something will happen. Cheer up, SpongeBob. It ain't so easy to best a karate pro like me. Just come on back whenever you want a rematch. So apparently you have to, um, so that, yeah, that's the dialogue that you get when you lose. Nothing really happens. You have to, you just has to, you just have to do it again. So you know what? I'm gonna show you. I, I'm I'm gonna do this. Do you just need for instructions again or what? Oh, no, I don't need instructions. You know how easy this is? I mean, seriously, look at this. I'm not even trying, and you're just you're just too easy. Just look look at this. Oh my god, so easy. I'm just pressing the at uh, the B button or the square button because this is just so easy spamming this button you know I could press this all day you know so yeah pretty much all what happens is you know um, there's just a eternal dialogue and stuff like that not much but I guess it's worth showing so I guess after I beat this Yes, because you know I don't want to end this off with the easiest karate match, you know, in in the cave. What I mean. And Sandy runs around in circles. I gotta admit, SpongeBob. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the bonus episode right there. And there's not really much else to show. Um, I mean, because all, all there is is just you know alternative dialogue and you know the bonus stuff and the uh, extras. So yeah, that's pretty much it with um. Revenge of the Flanks Dutchman, so we're pretty much, you know, done with this game. So, um, I guess I'll see you in my next Let's Play, and make Spongebob stare at you, and stuff. Yeah, that, that's really creepy. Oh, wait a minute, one more thing I want to show, god damn it, how could I forget about this? Oh my god, let's go back in Spongebob's house. There's a couple of things that I forgot to show. Is one, the TV. Never fear, Mermaid Man, for you are not alone in your fight against injustice. Computer, you're not helping with you and your sleeping problems. God, get more sleep. Anyways, is there more? Uh, no, that's it. And then in the bathroom. Yeah, I believe there's six uh, sound effects in here. <sighs> Apparently, a he flush the toilet. Okay. You know, that sound effect I found out was actually also used in Spongebob's Employee of the Month, believe it or not. And he wasn't in the bathroom either. He was, he was, um, on a bus and acting like, and, uh, making sound effects for cut. I don't know, the cutscenes in, in Employee of the Month are, are really messed up. And that's what I love about, about that. And apparently he broke. Alright. 
So that's all the sound effects in SpongeBob's house. House. Except for. Except for. And. So yeah. Alright. I guess I should. Uh, now just in this episode at all. Or bonus episode. So yeah. Like what I said. I'll see you in my next Let's Play, and I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and if you haven't watched the Let's Play already, then I would suggest you go and watch it in case, you know, you don't have the game or whatnot. But, yeah. Alright. So. Um, yeah. How many times am I gonna see... Hey, I'll see you in my next Let's Play. Well, I guess I'll see you in my next Let's Play. Alright, goodbye.